Hey, art students! Welcome to week two. Let's have our overview. So, as you know, we are kind of getting into the flow of things here. Last week you did your All About Me, which I loved and so enjoy. And now we're doing our Elements of Art one pager. So to find this, you would hover over weekly assignments, click into week two. Now, as you can see, the, the due date is to be determined. Uh, this will probably be filled out before week two even begins, but I am recording this in advance. So you will turn this in on Teams in the week two assignment. The overview video, you want to watch that. I'm making that right now. So there's nothing right here, but it will be there when uh, we're watching it in class. Here are our examples. Look at this, it's gorgeous. We got our elements of art, um, the word highlighted here. We have line, space, value, color, form, but there's so many different interpretations. You can organize the seven elements of art however you like. Look at this. Oh my goodness, so many talented kids. People are showing drawing skills, coloring skills, patterning skills, all right? Notice, nobody put in the definitions, okay? You don't even actually have to put the name of the element. The main thing is that when I look, I can tell what element you're focusing on, okay? But you can include the name of the element if you want, okay? So here's our overview instructions. Watch the overview video. That's this, you're doing it. Carefully read the elements of our one-pager instructions. That is here, specific project instructions. All right, create a pencil rough draft. Use the examples as inspiration. When searching up visuals, always put in line drawing. For example, if you wanna look at, up a tree, Google tree line drawing, or pine tree line drawing, maple tree line drawing. Include background design. For information about the elements and principles, hover over the elements and principles tab or click the pop-out tabs. Click in here or click the pop-outs for information about the elements and principles. After doing that um, pencil rough draft, move on to your final. Start in pencil, keep it light and loose so you have freedom to make changes. Have it on a new piece of paper, make edits to the new drawing as needed, include color and those finishing touches. Turn it in to Teams, assignment week two. Yes, you need a photo of your rough draft, a photo of your final, and your rubric. Now remember with your rubric, you could potentially just handwrite a rubric. You could potentially print this rubric out, write on it, take a picture, upload it, or you can make a digital copy. So for more information about ways to do the rubric, click directly into the weekly assignments. And here you see how to access, complete, and turn in your rubric. It's a two minute video. Also there's written instructions that show you different options for doing the rubric. And also if you need to, here's the information on how to access your assignments in team and how to turn them in. So let's go back to assignment week two. I can't wait to see your beautiful artwork. I can't wait to see who uses color pencil, who focuses on what types of art creation, who goes abstract, who goes realistic. It's gonna be great, guys. I love this project and I love your creativity, so. I wanna get a little more specific about something here. So here is the Elements of Art one-pager info page. And it gives you some vocab, specifically the Elements of Art, craftsmanship. I am looking for quality work. Craftsmanship is the neatness and quality of your work. And I'm also looking at your composition. That's the way in which your artwork is laid out. And guess what? Craftsmanship and composition and the elements of art are three of the components in the rubric that you are actually assessing yourself on. Craftsmanship, composition, elements of art. The other one is personal style, all right? So this project is going to, this project's going to really help you with those three categories. In the instructions, it says divide your paper into seven sections. In each section, use a font to write the, in one section, use a font to write elements of art. Hey guys, you should actually have eight sections, one for the title, seven for the elements. Typo, sorry, because we have seven elements. Line, shape, form, color, value, space, and texture. Here's the definitions, all right? So you actually have eight sections, one of which is for the elements of art. 
you will be doing a neat drawing and use color pencils, markers, other color materials if you can. Do some really cool lettering or fonts for that title elements of art. Um, there's a place you can go right here to find that. And I'll show you. You can go to Project Gallery, Artsy Tag, click right in there, and you are going to find some really cool ways to do different fonts and lettering. All right, but back to our assignment. So we're looking at the info page here, and we're, we just talked about the letterings that you're going to use. For design ideas, I highly recommend that you do one of two things. A, hover over creation resources, click flyout tab three through six. Creation resources, three, four, five, and six. So if I click in there, I'm gonna find some really, really cool visuals that I can use inside of my artwork. All right, creation resources, this is number three. Something else that you can do is Google geometric pattern, patterns possibly, um, organic patterns, oops, and then you can put in the search term line drawing, see what happens there, all right, to get visuals that you can include into your artwork. Here's my point. I do not want you to simply draw from your head. That's cool to draw from your head. But in order to get artwork that is, is as sophisticated as this, you have to take the time to research your visuals and develop your ideas. That's how you get a higher level of craftsmanship and composition within your artwork is to research and develop. And you'll see right here I say research and development. So that's clearly a big idea for me. <laughs> so I wanted to take a moment just to touch on that so you understand how important it is to research and develop your ideas and what is exactly in this one-pager handout.